Hey everyone, welcome to Sims Family Life. Um, in this episode, I do have something pretty decently big, but you guys might already guessed it. Um, by the caption of this or what this episode's named is. Um, but how we're getting the money is not going to be from the lottery win. Um, because the winner of the lottery was Izzy Fabulous, which is not one of my Sims. Um, it's a townie, but. We did get this letter in the mail, or Robin picked it up while she was out getting the mail today. Um, and the letter came in a, like, a little envelope, and it says, Dear Cameron, I know we really haven't seen eye to eye always, and I regret that I should have been a part of your life more, and I realize that it's too late now. I know this won't have changed anything, but I always did love you, and by the time you get this, I'm already gone. But I instructed in my will that all my money and assets go to you, and to you, your bank account, and to your possession. Please use it wisely. I regret this was not in person. Sincerely, your dad, X, Emmett. So Emmett had was uh, Cameron's uh, biological adopted father as well. He recently passed away, I'm assuming, and he decided to leave all his assets to Cameron, and it should be added to his account very soon. Um, and we did get to see a little bit of whom Emmett was. Before he really, who he really was before he died in that letter. He said he did truly care for Cameron and he hopes that Cameron uses the money and that he gets wisely. We don't know what else um, he has for him in store. Um, we're waiting till Cameron gets home to even tell him about the situation. Oh, okay, but hold on. We found out an unset love letter from Carmen to her teacher in her desk. Nothing racy, but we thought we, you should know. I would say, Robin would say, that's cute, but a little bit inappropriate. We'll talk to her. But, anyways, as I was stating, I think Robin's going to mention it to Cameron when he gets home. And Cameron is also going to get a phone call from someone. And, um, it's going to be from, uh, the people that are handling his will. And tell him that the money should be in there very soon. As well as a little bit of a different surprise as well in store. That um, anything could happen. But it's going to be quite the surprise. But anyways, Robin... In the meantime, is very happy and excited about things. Um, but that's definitely... We don't know. Like, she even doesn't know what to even really think about that whole thing. Because she knows the whole backstory of what truly happens between Emmett and them. And if you guys don't, um, I highly suggest going back and watching the whole series. It's all up on YouTube. But... Um, spoiler alert if you aren't, Emmett and Reed, which was, um, Cameron's adopted parents, they didn't always see eye to eye because Emmett was a little bit abusive to him, so I think that, I don't know how they would feel about that, but who knows, as well as in the last episode, guys, if you guys remember, we do have a new baby as well, which is Maria. So, that definitely changes things as well, and we're, I think the money is well needed, and it came at a better, best time possible, in a sense, but obviously it is a little bit sad, because, yes, Emmett was a character that is a little bit mean, and a little bit, um, that nobody really cared for because of his backstory, but I think, he, in a sense, he, a little bit of, not saying he, like, what he did was okay or anything like that. But he did, in a way, um, redeem himself a little bit by truly making sure that his child was well taken care of. 
And another thing in today's episode that we are going to find out is Carmen. Something more about her backstory that we might not have really understood or known. Um, and all we do know is it belonged to Cameron's one friend. So we don't know whether that friend was a boy or a girl or anything about it yet. But all we know is Cameron knew this person for quite some time. Um, knew that the person got pregnant but he didn't know the whole story, and we're going to find that out today. But for now, the kids are still at school, and Cameron is at work, so we're going to have to wait till then. But like I said, when we get home, or when Cameron gets home, he has a big things ahead of him. And I think they will probably be moving out today. Maybe even tomorrow. But with them moving out, they are moving out of where they are now. And they'll be moving into a new location. Um, not even in this area of the Sims. It's in a whole new location. Which means their weather will be different. But let's go ahead and just say the weather for today. Anyways, today's weather, it's spring day 26 of 28 here in the Sims. Which means summer is coming very soon here in the Sims. Um... Current weather is heavy rain and warm, and today's forecast is rain. Um, let's check the calendar to make sure that everything is okay with the calendar. We do have a birthday coming up, but we sh or we actually have two birthdays coming up, but um, we should be back here by then. Um, anyways, um, I might still do the birthdays, though. No. No, I'm not going to do the birthdays. I'm going to wait. Because we should be back here by then. So, anyways. So, the kids should be home very soon. Um... So, I'll be back once the kids get home. Or Cameron does. So, the kids are home. Um, Carmen's going to come in and get on to on to working with her schoolwork um, today. Um, and Levi has drama class today. So, he's not going to be here that much longer. Um, but he is home as well. He's just going to come home and grab something upstairs, and then he'll probably be on his way again. Um, Cameron should be home very soon, but in the meantime, Carmen's home, and she's doing her homework. I think Cameron gets off at 4 or maybe even 5. Yeah, he gets off at 4, so he'll be home very soon. It's already going on 4 o'clock in Sims. So. Okay, Cameron is home now. Um, Robin's going to show him the letter now. And Cameron knows, like, Robin has to tell him something, so he's going to pretty much come in and just immediately talk to her about it and Robin is going to reveal everything. So she's saying, you got this letter from your dad um, and the guy said he, when I talked to him, that he's going to call back around 4.30 to 5 o'clock with the will paper, but it's from your dad, and he says that he he's leaving everything to you. And, and Cameron's like, 
oh, uh, okay. He he's like taken back about it. Um, and he said about there's more secrets to be re revealed. Um, so Cameron is going to go ahead and get that call now. And the guy is stating, okay, so his only assets is the money, and the money will be in there very soon. Um, and the money amount is $150,000, and it will be incorporated into your account immediately. However, we also have something else to tell you that your father is happy you already have. And Cameron's like, well, what do you mean? And he said about your sister. And he's like, okay, what does that mean? And he said, your sister, Carmen, Carmen is your little sister. So the is a lot different the way Cameron thought. Like Cameron honestly thought it was just his best friend's little girl, which I'm assuming was his um, was a g woman and then the woman passed away and his father passed away and Carmen got put into the system. Cameron's like, I need to I need to go upstairs and I need to pretty much just figure this out. Like, how is this possible? And so it it actually seems as if Carmen is actually Cameron's little sister, which Maybe Carmen knew about this. Maybe that was the whole thing with Robin. Maybe that's why she didn't understand anything. Maybe that's what was her backstory. And that is part of her backstory. But we don't know the whole story quite yet. But things are starting to unravel. Um, but Levi is home now. Um, so he's going to get to working on his homework. Um, and that money will be incorporated into our account now. So... We'll have to wait and see for that. But he said it's $150,000, which would put us very close to getting the house that they want to move into. But it would not leave them with enough. So they might have to sell their belongings here, which if they buy everything over there, which should be fine. Um, I'll try it out first and see. So I'll be back in a second. So with the money that his father gave him it brought him up to one hundred and ninety nine thousand eight hundred and forty eight or forty nine dollars um and so i don't know if i know exactly how much it is um and i don't know exactly how much the belongings in here count uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and check that real quick and i'll be back to let you know if they have enough quite yet to move in or not Okay, guys, so we definitely did have enough money to move out, um, which we did, and we got our new house here. It's a big house, um, but this is a big family as well, but um, I do have the game paused because I want to be able to show you the house completely then, um, but anyways, Cameron did buy this house, but Cameron still does own the deed to the other house, so Cameron had already told his family members if something would ever happen and they needed a place to go that is always an option because Cameron if you guys remember Cameron's father Reed originally gave him the deed to the house that Cameron was living in with his family obviously it was a little bit too small so that's why we have this house now but let's go ahead and show you this house now um I am going to show you from the front door which is over here um which faces the road here so this is the front door you walk up this little path here and as soon as you walk in the front door you're in like a little hallway type area um and if you go this way you have two bedrooms here with tvs um and if you walk this way you got two bedrooms here um and down the hallway you have another bedroom here with a bathroom across the hall as well as access to the back porch which has a pool and 
We also down this way have a kitchen and a little lounge slash living room area. Upstairs, however, we have a little kitty area upstairs and a little book area and an upper deck. Nothing too fancy, but it's still a pretty decently big house for this family. Now, this is definitely something that they needed. So, obviously, we got to do a little bit of tweaking because this house was originally furnished with um, beds and stuff for adults. Um, and, obviously, this room here would be the master bedroom. So, they did get... The baby in the right room but I'm going to have to edit a look a little bit up here um, including adding a door to the bathroom because that's something I did realize wasn't there I don't know why but it wasn't okay so that's done this is here is gonna be Robin's room um, and then this one here I think is more likely going to be Carmen's room and we're just going to keep the door here locked as well as this door locked for Levi which is going to be Levi's room just because they are young still and I don't want them to get out on their own or whatever and be realistic here guys. Um, if you walk up towards here towards the front door we are also going I think this one here would be a good room for Riker once he gets a little bit older um and this room here could be for maria when she gets older um so we have enough rooms for everybody um and i was thinking maybe maria and um kiana could uh share a room but for now i think the kids are going to share a room with robin and them because this is a pretty big house, and I think Robin would want to keep a close eye on them. Um, anyways, with that said, so let's go ahead and get people all set up here. And we also have to buy a little couple toddler beds. So, anyways, let me do that, and I'll show you guys updated then. Okay, so I did add a couple things, um, like minor things, like adding the toddler beds and stuff. So let's go ahead and get everyone's rooms assigned to them. As accordingly, um, like I said, this is Levi's room. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this door here is going to be locked for everyone, for all pets, as well as locked door for everyone, as well as locking this door. For all pets and locking this door for everyone now this door here has to be set as the front door it's already set as the front door that's great um, and I think that's all the doors in this household oh wait no we have these ones here um, we're gonna lock the doors here for all the pets, but I think it's okay if they go out these doors. Oh, wait, I might lock the door for everyone just so that the little ones don't go out here as well. Okay. Nah, I just gotta lock the front door for pets. Okay, so everybody's in the house now. Levi already claimed his bed, I believe. Yes. Um, so, Carmen, let's go ahead and have you claim 
your bed. And then, it's really getting late, guys. They moved around and all that, so a lot of the kids are starting to get really tired. So, Kiana's going to head to bed. And then Riker's grabbing something to eat before bed. Um, and I think Levi and Carmen are going to head to bed as well. Um, and then Cameron and... Robin are gonna get some well needed sleep because Cameron's really thinking about what like what literally just happened like everything with his biological father or not his adopted father and realizing that Carmen is actually his sister so that definitely shook things up this is definitely a new house that we're definitely going to have to get used to. Um, and time will tell what will happen. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and call this one a day as soon as we get these all to bed. So this episode, let's just recap while we're getting everybody ready for bed and all that. This episode, we had a huge shocking letter coming to Cameron from his adopted father Emmett whom we haven't heard or really talked to in a little while because Cameron and him really always didn't see eye to eye um he gave Cameron his assets um and actually revealed to him that Carmen is actually his little sister little sister um and he which means pretty much he uh ended up having some sort of relationship with Cameron's one best friend at some point in his life um and then Carmen came along so the baby's crying so I have to deal with that but anyways Kiana you can go to bed and leave and Riker you can go to bed And Cameron, you're desperate for a wee, so before you go to bed, you can go to the bathroom. But anyways, in addition to all that, these guys have moved into their new house that they had made for themselves. Um... They didn't expect it to happen anytime recently, but it did. So, who knows what will happen from now on. But, we'll just have to wait and see. But, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys all next week for another episode of Sims Family Life. But, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Remember, the new series called Sims Out on Their Own will be debuting. Hope you guys will are excited about that as well, and I know I am. Bye.